Hey there, my awesome artists. So you just learned about the amazing and talented artist named Yayoi Kusama. You looked at some of her artwork and you learned that she loved polka dots. We're gonna actually be using her polka dotted pumpkins as inspiration for our art lesson. So this week we're gonna start on part one of the lesson and continue part two of the lesson next week. And so since you're going to be starting part two next week, you're gonna hold on to this artwork. And what you're gonna do is maybe you could find a folder or get a folder and keep your artwork in that folder for safekeeping until next week when we start part two of the lesson. Now, since you guys are not going to finish this lesson today and we're only starting part one, you do not need to submit anything in Schoology until next week when I tell you to. So do not worry at all about submitting anything in Schoology. You do not have to submit this first part. All right, well, let's get started. What are you going to need for your pumpkins? You're going to need something to draw with. All right, if you wanna use a pencil first, you can definitely use a pencil and then trace over it with a Sharpie or a black marker or crayon. You're gonna need a piece of construction paper. Um, if you do not have colored paper, then you can definitely, of course, use white paper, draw your pumpkin and then color over it um, after, all right? Well, this is my first example of my Yayoi Kusama pumpkin. Now, be thinking about how you want your pumpkin to look. What kind of pumpkin are you going to want to draw? Now, Yayoi Kusama's pumpkins and pumpkins actually in real life, they all come in different sizes and shapes. Some are wide and wobbly looking, some are tall and skinny looking. All right, so think about what kind of pumpkin you want to draw. If your pumpkin is going to be wide, then you might wanna have your paper sideways like this. If you are going to want your, your pumpkin to be tall and skinny, then you might wanna turn your paper vertically. All right, so be thinking about that. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to get you started on your pumpkin. I'm gonna show you how to start your pumpkin and then just kind of give you uh, maybe one or two tips uh, as you are drawing your pumpkin. All right, now looking at her polka dots, if you look at her polka dots, some of the polka dots are big, some are small, and some polka dots are even tiny. So I wanna see a variety of pumpkins, I'm sorry, not pumpkins, a variety of polka dots on your pumpkin. All right, so first thing, when you make your, when you draw your pumpkin, you wanna start in the middle. That way you have room to the right and room to the left. If you start right here, you might run out of room. So it's always best to start in the middle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to it. I'm using a Sharpie, so I can't erase it. I just have to go with it and just be happy with whatever design I get, all right? And I can always practice afterwards. Practice makes perfect, all right. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm going to continue using that pear shape. All right, and I also wanna make sure that I leave room for the stump of my pumpkin. All right, now moving on to the next step of my pumpkin, I'm going to now add some sections, bringing my pumpkin out because we want our pumpkin to look three dimensional. So all you're doing is repeating this line over and over again, leaving space in between for your polka dots. If you make your sections too skinny and too close together, then you're not really going to have room to make your polka dots. So I'm going to start at the top of my pumpkin and repeat this line over and connect it back to the bottom. All right. So I've got two sections on the right and I'm gonna make two more sections on the left. Depending on how full it is, I might leave it alone or I might add more sections. So I'm gonna to come to the left and make my sections. All 
All right. So I think I'm pretty happy with my pumpkin. I think it's a pretty good size. I've got space in between. And now I'm gonna make my stump. So I do that by drawing a little pancake shape and then connecting it to my pumpkin. All right, awesome. I'm pretty happy with my pumpkin, guys. Now I'm going to start adding my polka dots. I noticed that on Yayoi Kusama's pumpkins, her um, polka dots in the middle of her pumpkin were always the biggest. Now, your polka dots um, can be big, small. I wanna see a variety of polka dots. Alright, so I just made these one little section going down. Um, let's see, I'm going to add some polka dots here. And what I do to the right side of this section, I'm also going to do it on the left side of the sec of the pumpkin. So I'm going to come on this side and make some more polka dots to match the other side and fill those in. But boys and girls, this is all you're going to do for step one of the lesson. You're going to draw your pumpkin, and then after you draw your pumpkin, you are going to fill it with polka dots, a variety of polka dots, some big polka dots, some small polka dots, and some teeny tiny polka dots. Once you are done with that part, you are then just going to place your artwork in your folder or somewhere safe for next week. And then I will tell you what we're gonna exactly do with our pumpkins, but it's really important that you hold on to these and don't lose them, okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this first part of the lesson and I will see you guys next week. Bye.